Hello YouTube peoples, this is Fusion Designs and today I'll be finishing off the series of um, how to make your own YouTube channel background. Now in this part, this is part 5, um, I will be showing you how to um, save your uh, background the right way and upload it to YouTube and get it looking awesome. So. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen the other four parts of this tutorial, uh, there will be links in the description now. So you can start off at part one and work your way through how to make a YouTube background. But for those of you who have followed the program and um, are done with their background and want me to show you how to save and upload properly, well, uh, here's the background I showed you guys how to make. So then go to up to file go to save as then down here it'll, it will say select sorry wait it will say select file type by extension click on that and this column will open up save it as a GIMP XCF file if you want to work on it again later but if you are satisfied with what it looks like and you're sure you want it to be this way then scroll down to JPEG image then close up the um, the module then select where you want to save it you can move around and up here name it whatever you'd like then click enter I've already saved it so I'm going to replace it and save it again and it'll ask you quality put it around 90 then open up your YouTube account sign in then go to your channel then go to teams and colors show advanced options and background image delete as I already have a background image I'm going to delete this one and choose the one I created for you guys. So go to wherever you saved the image. I have to say I think this turned out pretty awesome. I'm going to change the colors to make it suit it better. and it will render out and finish up so scroll down and there you go now some of you may have wrapper transparency on none which will cause this border to appear and transparency on the color palettes if that was on none you'd have it like this now we both know this doesn't look very nice and it kind of ruins the image so make sure you have transparency on a hundred percent maybe you want to put it on 90 or 80 just to give it like a kind of border but for you for those of you who want to just show the image that's how you do it see a lot of people don't know that and that's where the problems start to happen so um, I'm happy I guided you guys through this uh, this series I hope all my videos helped you out in some way maybe the background wasn't uh, maybe the background didn't suit you maybe you don't like this type of style but at least I showed you a few tricks that you can do on GIMP so yeah I'm happy I helped if I did help please subscribe because it does mean a lot um, every subscriber helps it inspires me to make more videos there'll be much more series coming out soon I might make another background series in a couple of weeks if this gets a good a good response so yeah what I'd love you to do is um obviously like the video that means a lot uh, subscribing is my, my main objective but what I'd like you to do is if you've used my series to help you make a cool background 
just leave a message below say just leave a message below saying um check out my background and i will check it out and i'll see what i think i'd like to see how i helped you guys out so yeah um end of the series subscribe you better you better subscribe biatches no, i'm just joking so uh yeah bye <laughs>